I absolutely love watching Gary Watch Shred, my favorite <laughs> instructor in the world. And man, do you rip. First thing I want to mention, we were on the chairlift. We were, people are carving more than ever these days. And I, we saw a guy make a nice big toe side carve, but he never looked around and potentially got, would have gotten hit by a skier had the timing just been slightly different. In that clip, Watch it again, how much Geary is looking around and uphill, not only for his own safety, but for everyone else's on the mountain. So, oh, I love that, Geary. Hey, usually I don't tape when it's flat light, but uh, Geary's Volcom jacket here just pops. <laughs> you love this jacket? Yeah, stoked on it so far. I think I really want nice. that. I'm gonna put a link to this description for this jacket, but uh, let's uh, kick out some knowledge of shredding in flat light. This morning, what I was thinking of, uh, I was just working on my switch turns and basically just slowing it down and being on point with my legs with uh, being able to absorb any fluctuations because you can get bounced around and stuff when you can't see as well and you're not anticipating those little bumps on the hill. So kick out some knowledge with flat light riding. Yeah, absolutely. So a couple key considerations uh, whenever we're riding in lower visibility conditions like this. Anytime we're out on our snowboard, we're basically using all of our senses, or three of our senses primarily, uh, being just our, our ability to see, uh, feel, and hear what's going on around us. And so obviously in the flat light, low visibility, we can't see quite as well. So it's important to realize that we can still use our hearing and our feeling to get a lot of input from the snow surface and our surroundings to keep ourselves safe and have a really good time, even when it's snowy and you can't quite see as well. Absolutely. Let's make some jets. Getting some much needed snow, but uh, unfortunately some of it gets on the lens, so sorry about that. But uh, we were just watching a skier come down, making really nice turns, chatted with him for a minute. Whenever you see skiers making real nice turns, watch them, study their motions. How, how is the track in the line and all that stuff? How about a carbon tip? Got anything for us, Geary? Yeah, even just reflecting on what we saw with that skier, it was pretty cool. Um, one thing that kind of stood out to me was how low that skier was in the turns. And by low, I mean really big bend in the knees in particular. Um, dropping down, they were really close, their body was close to the edges, so they can control that as they feel the side cut through the turn. So that was another key tip for you all, just getting a little bit lower in your stance. Think about where you normally ride as you're cruising down the run, maybe in the flat light conditions, taking that and dropping it a few inches. Think about like where your belly button is and drop that about four inches. Um, and that lower stance can just give you some really good options if there's some variation in the snow. Let's, uh, let's get you doing the lowest turns you possibly can without touching the snow. Let's uh, over, over accentuate that, see what it looks like, and then you try to replicate it next time you're on the slopes. Yeah, I got a little challenge for you. Oh, too. what's the challenge? <laughs> I'll call it the three chick Three click challenge. Three click. All right, so when we get down in that lower section where it flattens out, yep. you're gonna unbuckle ankle straps okay. by three clicks, oh. ankle and toe. Ankle and toe by three clicks. Okay. We're gonna watch you get a little lower okay. and compensate for that. Okay, cool. cool. Touching the snow. <laughs> <laughs> 
right, three click challenge. Loosening up all the straps. I normally prefer my bindings tight AF to have a super connected feel and not be sloppy at all. Very tight interface between my boots, bindings, and board. This is not feeling good already, so I'm gonna be holding back so I don't sprain an ankle or something. I'm loose. I'm tightening. <laughs> Alright, I'm loose too. It's dicey trying to chase you. The three click challenge. It's not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you crushed it though. Hey, I would thanks. Say. Uh, it felt like as soon, once you were on an edge and leaning up, up against the, either your high back or your sh straps, then it felt more normal. But for quick things like when I popped those 180s, it just felt like, whoa, a lot of play, a lot of too loosey goosey. I don't know, what's, uh, what was your point of the uh, three click <laughs> challenge and what, what should people notice if they try well, that? I would say you definitely had a. Uh, quite a bit of success with the challenge there because you know how to do a, a couple things being able to use your ankles really well to create the edge angle that you want for that and you also know how to press the edge into the mountain into that snow surface mm -hmm. right and those two things in combination uh, working those together allowed you to still achieve some pretty high performance carves on that uh, even though you definitely noticed that kind of a lag in performance as you want to like leave the snow or try to get a little bit of pop definitely from a lag here uh, so not it's certainly not how you want to ride all the time, uh, but a cool way to tune you in to generating some movements down a little bit closer to the board, closer to the snow, working through the ankles, working through bent knees uh, to get the results you want. Cool. Hey, Gary, thank you so much for joining me for this Always little bit. I keep, I'm often asked if I give lessons and no, I do not. Gary and I do something at Hood during the summer, but uh, woo, we got something potentially coming up. Donic days. Um, you know nothing's we don't have exact dates yet it costs some money but uh it's a kind of a going to be a very unique experience absolutely coming up uh january february march and april once a month we're going to do it so yeah. uh stay tuned for that i will kick out details as soon as we have the uh full information for it absolutely go cool. thank you again for joining thank you all for watching happy shredding and safe shredding out there Get your fly.